on Christmas Day I was technically dead. Hurry up, hurry up! Get stabbed him! But I looked down and said the knife. My brain just had shut down completely. He needs an ambulance. I'm scared. It was the Christmas period. It was absolutely rampacked. Shoppers everywhere. I was a sales assistant at H&M. It was my break at about five o'clock. Come outside and there was just, I just basically had a load of abuse hurled at me from outside the bank. There was two lads, they weren't gonna leave me alone. I tried to just walk on, walk back to work, but that wasn't gonna be the case. We heard noise outside. We just thought it was boys being stupid, never thinking it, had, it would get any worse. There's lots of fighting. They're down the side of the pub. I'm just used to it being very aggressive where I'm from. The younger generation kind of all want to prove a point, but I was not expecting what was about to happen next. Hurry up, hurry up. OK, we'll get somebody there now. Can you see any weapons? The other boy just ran at him. It just felt like a punch to the stomach. My whole body just kind of went completely numb, sh uh, cold, shivering. I lifted my shirt up and I kind of realised. He stabbed him. He needs an ambulance. I'm scared. He was running, he was screaming. He didn't know what to do. It was like watching a dog chase its tail. And I just collapsed on the floor and I didn't really know what to do. The first thing to do is call for help. Don't leave it to chance. But those first few minutes before it arrives can mean life or death. When he pulled up his shirt, I expected to see a slit, but it was like a very small crater that was oozing blood. The blade nicked Dom's aorta, the biggest artery in the body. It carries more than six pints of blood down from your heart every minute. From that hole, Dom is losing blood fast on the inside. He was very, very cold, but really perspiring badly and shaking. His words weren't coming out properly. Is he conscious? Hello. Uh, he's going in and out, he's very clammy. His pulse rate was going mad and, you know, you think, please, God, get the ambulance here quick. Dom's losing blood on the inside, so his heart's racing to try and get enough to his brain to keep him conscious and alive. The abdomen can fill up with pints of blood, even if he can't see much coming out got about 10 pints in total. Use four of those and you might only have minutes to live. Everything was blurred and sound was echoing. There was just a lot of screaming, a lot of people crowding over me. My first instinct was to put my hand on it and then once I got uh, the tissues, I was able to replace my hand with the tissues. Putting pressure on the stab wound can help slow down the bleeding. That gives the body a chance to start fixing itself by forming blood clots. But if the blade's still stuck in, don't pull it out and don't move it around. It might be the only thing keeping you alive. I felt like the journey to the hospital was going to be too long. I had a choice in the ambulance to either give up or fight for my life. And I decided to fight. Every single breath felt like a minute. One quick glimpse on the surgery table and then just black for a very long time. And the doctor said to my mum, please don't get your hopes up because there's a good chance that you won't see your son ever again. It was just excruciating pain from the second I woke up and I found out I'd missed New Year and Christmas Day, which was, I was absolutely gutted about. The actual stab wound itself is really very small, but the surgery left me with a devastating open wound. There was too much swelling, and they said that if that was to have burst open at any point, which it could have very easily done, then I would have died. They put some mesh over the top to stop my organs falling out. I had to have three showers a day just to clean the muck that was coming out of it constantly. I had to have nurses assisting me in the, at the bathroom. Yeah, I lost all my dignity when it had happened. I was at the lowest of lows. I did not come out of it feeling like it was a battle scar. I come out of it embarrassed to look at my own body, ashamed to look in the mirror, and I felt like it was never going to end. 
I wasn't able to go out on a bike, I wasn't able to go and play football. Once you have those privileges taken away from you, you become so much more grateful for what you actually had. Even the smallest knife wounds can change your life. Damaging the pedendal nerve can cause impotence. That's no more sex ever. And if the blade catches the bowel, that could mean living with a colostomy bag for the rest of your life. With more than 20 major arteries around the body and over 100 vital nerves, there's nowhere safe to be stabbed. I know it sounds crazy, but it's changed me for the better. The Dom back then, I was a bit lazy, I was a bit negative. Whereas now, I'm not ashamed of anything. I completely embrace what's happened. I want to become the best version of myself possible. I had no previous knowledge on what to do. I'm sure that none of my friends, if they was with me, would have had any knowledge on what to do. There was a lady who come to my aid and managed to keep me alive. If he had been anywhere remote and there was nobody around to help him, I'm quite convinced he wouldn't, he wouldn't be alive today. Totally convinced of that. Recovering from that is something that I would never ever want to go through again. I don't have any hate towards the person who did it to me. I'm on to the next chapter of my life.